Hello everybody. Uh, today I want to show you um, a little bit about the roads. I brought it up in another video, but I thought you needed to have a closer look, okay? So this is uh, a video that was done by SCT Mexico. Uh, it's a, a pro priority programs, and this is Caminos Rurales, which means rural roads. Now these roads were are being made by the native uh, indigenous people mostly of Mexico um, and they have um, uh, their their style of making roads which look more like I don't know like some kind of uh, a work of art I would say very nice and you can see there that there's like roads there's a road that's um, pavement and then there's a road that's rock and pavement, and then there's more uh, pavement, and so they alternate. So this picture here shows that they're making half the road there, okay? Um, and they use gravel and rocks, and, uh, and women work as well as men making these roads. Now, this is one of the programs that AMLO introduced in order to make the Mexican people want to stay in their homeland. And, um, and I say that... Uh, because, you know, Mexicans were migrating to the U.S. because there were no jobs in Mexico. But what AMLO did was make them want to stay because every um, area gets a budget and money gets sent directly to their uh, leader, their group leader. And uh, the group leaders are kind of like a family group. It's kind of like a tribal chief kind of thing where they are in charge of making sure that the money gets used properly and they actually hold people accountable and they have this thing called techio, which means that they're honorable. They, they do everything honorable uh, towards their fellow man and, you know, do unto others. It's all about goodness and it's like an impressive thing that's uh, native to um, the Mexican people. Um, and the original indigenous uh, populations use this thing called techio, which is another video we should make about all about techio. But anyway, uh, so right now you can see on this video, and I'm going to go ahead and play it. It's only a five-minute video, but I want to show you uh, what he did. Now, what he's doing is he's giving jobs to both the women and the men, and this is money that they would, before they would give it to these uh, companies, to build the roads and they would either put a very thin layer you can see this is a thick layer of cement uh, and the road and the uh, the one with the rocks in between it's kind of so that if if there's ever like um, earthquakes or something they can absorb some of the shock and and so they won't crack or if they do I guess it won't be as bad it'll give them a, a layer of absorption so that there's not this big old thick slab of uh, cement that's going to crack uh, really easily. So um, this is a very clever way that they've done this, and which is funny because um, the initially they were uh, made fun of, you know, that uh, they made fun of AMLO saying, oh, you're going to let these people make their own roads. They don't know what they're doing, this and that. He said, what are you talking about? These guys have been trained. They're the best cement workers. They're the best road makers. Um, they they go to the U.S. and they make the best, they do the best work in cement work and such like that, concrete, whatever. So he uh, is sending them directly the mixers, um, the um, cement. They just have to collect their own rocks, um, uh, the wood, so that they can make the forms. Um, and, he, you know, uh, if they need water, they, they send water trucks um uh, they get them all the material, plus they pay the workers, and they're paying them a, a decent wage, uh, like 5000 I believe, a month uh, each, which if you've got a husband and wife working, that's 10000 a month, which is a very uh, uh, livable income in Mexico. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this video. This is really an interesting video. I, I really liked it, and it was quick. This road, which is being made right now, so it goes all the way from the main road, uh, the principal from Palomares. It's like, I guess, 
it would be probably like the freeway or the main road. And so they started it there, and it goes all the way to the center of their um, province or town or municipal area. So to the cabecera municipal means the municipal head of uh, Santiago Yaveo. Okay, so that's where it goes to. So he says there's 46 kilometers. So um, that's what they programmed for three years and three phases. He says in the month of December, the president of Mexico visited Oaxaca, which is where this is. And he presented us the program to uh, uh, put um, in roads that uh, would go to the municipal uh, heads. And we were included in this um, area. And there's 50 municipalities uh, in Oaxaca, in the state of Oaxaca, that are uh, getting to put the roads in. Now check out the workers. See how they're putting the uh, uh, the rocks in the uh, forms in, on the one, and on the other one they're putting the full cement. So he's saying here, we have a little over 300 uh, municipal uh, heads of town. And these do not have a paved road. Look at that horrible road that they would have to go into. And when it rains very hard, they become incommunicado which means there is no way to get in and out. So we started the program with 50 roads with the uh, mode and that we would give technical assistance uh, by giving the support and the resources and you can see they're using a mixer, like a little, uh, I don't know, it could be motorized, but it's a, a, a small mixer. They don't want them to use big trucks. They don't want to give the company uh, the work to big corporations. They want to let the people uh, do it because it gives them jobs. And uh, it, but it is us that's going to administer the resources, so they're giving it directly to them from the federal government. So uh, here, the the you can see that the women are helping bring the rocks. So um, it gives the women uh, a job too, so they can have, if it's a husband and wife team, they can have an income uh, that's you know twice as much. Or if it's just a lady, she can support herself and her children. And so here he's saying, we receive the um, capacitation uh, from, uh, I guess, the, the, the um, offices or the departments of the government that are mentioned there, SCT and INPI. Here, uh, the SCT indicated to us that they said that now since we're getting the rules from the federal government, we need to do it this way. And it needs to be 20 centimeters long, uh, wide. And that's the what the goal is and that's the purpose because we want it to last for many years. So we had community meetings in all the agencies of our municipality. And in this case, there was 10 agencies of the municipality. And they uh, uh, selected their committee for the works. So they do have uh, people that they selected, and they're in charge. 
and they um, have been committed to making sure that the work is done. So the commitment is that in the next five years, to connect all the municipal uh, roads uh, and heads uh, to the heads of the municipalities, I'm sorry, all the roads to the municipal heads of each um, uh, municipality, especially those that have no connection. So these are uh, using roads and uh, handiwork by our hand labor. And the roads that they're going to construct are being constructed constructed by the inhabitants of the region. So here you can see the supplies that they give them, wheelbarrows, um, they give them the cement, they give them all the tools, they have shovels, pickaxes, um, the mixers, everything that they need to be able to do it. Oh, the wood, so they can make the forms, the hammers, the nails, so they can secure it. So that they're, they have all the resources and they put in the hand labor. They put it in and they, and they make sure that everything gets um, uh, done uh, so that because these roads are for themselves. So they have that initial, um, I mean, that added incentive that it's for themselves. They're going to be driving on it. It's for their people, their family, their friends. And also they want it to last a very long time. So the elementary uh, tools, shovels, picks, hands. So we uh, planned what type of um, cement we were going to use. And uh, it was uh, concrete uh, for part of it, and part of it was for um, uh, rocks that were covered with uh, some cement. So he's saying that where the, where the wheels run is where the cement is. And in between is where they put the uh, the rocky um, uh, sludge slushy part. So they say this is different. It's an ecological uh, road, which is how we call it. So in other words, it's safe for the environment too. because they haven't made many of these roads in Mexico. Es muy ahora ya and it uh, fills us with um, emotion to see them out there working. Ver, ahora. So that means seeing them, him, uh, the ladies and the men working. Engineers, hardworking, hand labor, picking up rocks by hand. And they say very emotionally, and they feel it very deeply, that they're making the roads for their children. So she says her name is Guadalupe Parra, and she arrived there because she wanted to work. And uh, it, apparently below it says she has a son or uh, yeah a son that is three years old. And I'm a single mother. And I like to work. So we, the women, help by uh, picking up the rocks. And we carry the water. And sometimes we help them by carrying the mix, the cement mix. And sometimes we're very sore. But yes, we take it, and here we are working. So, 
So in the areas in between where they plant their uh, and uh, cultivate and sow their crops, uh, there's areas in between that they can put the roads. And then they will maintain the roads themselves. So this gave us the opportunity to create 200,000 permanent jobs. Where they will get uh, monetary additional funds that will, will permit them to again to uh, put their roots back in their own place of origin. So this is what I was talking about, people getting to stay in their homeland because now there's opportunity for work there and they won't want to leave because it's a permanent job. So Americans that don't want the Mexicans here, don't you worry, not so many. <laughs> I doubt that many are going to want to be coming here because things are getting so much better in Mexico. Uh, and they have permanent jobs in our, all their little rural areas. So here what they're doing is they're getting, uh, uh, giving jobs to people in this, in this certain zones or within that same zone or area. And they take money to their homes. And then they, that detonates all kinds of purchases that are uh, in the little uh, commerce and stores, all in the commercial areas. And so they have people that come and sell them water and food. So because there wasn't this work here before, they had no uh, fountain uh, of where to take their goods to. So then they could get some of the money uh, and have money to spend as well. Before, it used to take approximately two hours to drive to the um, uh, head of the uh, municipality. And I believe that with this new payment, the maximum it's going to take is one hour. So this benefits us a lot because when the rain comes, there's a lot of mud and the cars get stuck in the mud. But now that there will be pavement, it won't be a problem. Having paved roads detonates the development in our areas, our zones. So as you can see, in the different areas, there's a lot of commerce, lots of um, uh, ganado is, uh, 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 <laughs> gosh, I can't think of the word, well, where they have lots of uh, animals that they have for stock for feed to feed with um, uh, like cattle <laughs> cattle so they have lots of cattle and lots of uh, agriculture so uh, th when they used to have the road that was all dirt it complicated matters and it made it very difficult to have a, a commercial exchange. The people are very convinced about this. And the people were very tired of the matter dealing with corruption. And in this sector, it was very important. And I would say especially important. So we are going to rehabilitate 
the uh, Mexican workforce. And we are going to rehabilitate the Mexican uh, uh, companies, business. <laughs> So we're going to stimulate the small and large or medium um, construction. So we're a whole team making sure that this job is done right with quality. Because we ourselves are executing it. And if we do it bad, then we're the ones that are going to be looking bad uh, when this road is done. So I guess they asked him, where did you work? Or what did you, where, where do you come from? And he said, I was a field worker and so was my dad, uh, my mother. And my dad was uh, albañil. I'm not really sure what that word means. Let me look it up real quick. Um, Albañil. A builder. Okay, so he was a builder. Um, where were we? I think it's this one. Okay. So this road makes us, fills us with pride, all the little towns and all the people in it. That's a paisano. So she says that, uh, he said something about where he came from, and then she said that the, the truth is a president had never, uh, uh, that president after president, none of them had ever come here. There had been many presidents that had passed, and they had never seen anything like this. And now, even the women are valued again, even now. So this is from the government of Mexico. Anyway, um, so this is just one of the things that is happening in Mexico that is helping to stimulate uh, the economy. Um, and uh, that means that there's going to be now uh, access, you know, there's going to be a lot of new places to see, a lot of new places to see that maybe before you couldn't get to unless you had a burro or <laughs> something like that, you know, because some of them are way up in the hills and um, they, it, it, there was no access. So now there's going to be access and there's going to be new things to see, new sites to see. Um, there's pyramids and all kinds of wonderful things. Uh, there's um, waterfalls, beautiful things going on uh, in the in the lands of Mexico that are basically kind of secret because there was no roads. And the government had, in the past had not invested in the southern parts, which is where this is. But anyway, so I think this is kind of good news for the Americans uh, that, that are worried that they're going to be losing jobs because now there's Mexicans are going to have their own jobs and they're going to want to stay there. And um, you never know, you guys might want to go over there and get a job. <laughs> anyway, gotcha. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.